YouTube. Uh, Light Wolf here. Trying something new today. Um, for I think since 2007, maybe even before that, I've been speaking in. I don't want to say speaking in tongues because it's kind of a cliche thing to say, especially if you're involved or familiar with Pentecostal movement at all. But maybe that's what it is. I'm not sure. All I know is there's this language that sounds like Chinese or Native American or some kind of blend that comes out of me. And generally it's when I'm about to pass out, when, uh, when I don't have enough blood pressure or something, when I get out of a hot bathtub and I almost fall on the ground. This has happened to me all my life, ever since I was like at least 10 years old. Um, I think they may call that fainting. I'm not sure. Because in the movies, fainting is always somebody, some woman falling back like this. But, uh, but I think falling forward on your face because you lost blood pressure or get lightheaded may also be a form of fainting. But anyway, let's move on. So... The point is, I've been speaking this language for a long time, but it's not something I do in daily occurrence. It's not something that generally has happened at church. And I've been hearing these well-established prophets uh, recently talking about, you know, you got to speak in tongues, you got to pray in tongues, God wants you to pray in tongues, we got to pray in tongues to uh, save the... The universe. Or... So, oh, there's a kitty. So, I did this earlier, and I'm going to do this again because I believe there is some truth to that, even though I don't understand it fully. So, this is intended to be a video documenting the the language that I speak when I go into this state. Let's say. Like I say, whether it's speaking in tongues or not, I don't know. I'm hoping that somebody out there can tell me uh, if this sounds like a legitimate language. Sometimes there's a song that comes through. I'm seeing the word Mongolian. Maybe it's Mongolian. I don't know. I don't know any Mongolian people. Um, so here we go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pray first. And... I'm going to do my preparation to pray. The way I do that is I start breathing and I just cleanse myself with the breath. So here we go. And we're going to go 13 times on the breath. So. Okay, Lord, I call on you. If you want me to speak in tongues, <clears throat> you do this um, for, the, for the people to see and to help translate. Um, give me the words. Put the words in my mouth that I may speak them freely through your power and your guidance and the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, we love you, and so it is. Blessed be. Are you serious? Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
，不，猪腿胸，平胸吃下脚的，把这个家伙做的，拉手，拉手呢，拉手呢，鸡，不，这家我杀你家小，那家你就跟那呀。My ay 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 Wusti uta, gozi na kosa na kona, gozi kano sa na kona, gozi kona sa na kona. Bozi sta ka, bozi na, bozi na, bozi na, gozi na. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Lasagi notice. Breath of life. Breath of life. Breath of life. Breath of life. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thy is the kingdom, the power, the glory, forever. Our Father, 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 who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory, forever. And Jesus said, pray like this. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Namaste. Amen. Shalom. Okay, that's it. If there's anybody out there that recognizes this uh, language, light language, spirit language, or whatever it is, um, I know I'm not making it up. I've been doing it for too many years, and I've heard of light language and language of the birds, and I've heard these terms and stuff and speaking in tongues, but it never quite sounded like any of the demonstrations I've ever heard of anybody doing a language. And maybe most don't take the time to record it. Maybe others have this situation happen, fall upon them as well just randomly out of the blue and there's no recording device available. Um, so maybe 
maybe this God has touched me to be the first to make a video like this, uh, demonstrating this, this, this language, this alphabet, this communication. I don't know what it is. And I'm sure some will say it's demon possession because there's always some that say that. And I'm sure there's some that will say it's fakery because there's always some that say that. And these are all uh, ideas based in fear. But if you have legitimate uh, criticisms or facts and stuff that can be pointed out to help me guide me on how to figure out what this is, I know it's from God. I, I know like I know like I know it's from God. It's part of my gifts, but I don't know what I'm saying. And maybe this is a message that somebody out there needs and I'm supposed to be giving it to other people instead of just saying, whoa, this is weird. Let me not tell anybody about it. So there you have my, I guess, light language, speaking in tongues, uh, testimony for today. This is November... 18th, uh, 2020, the year of fire. God told me the beginning's year is the year of fire. Guess what? I'm going to uh, tell you one more thing before I leave you. I have this beautiful golden uh, journal. I would love to show it to you. The cover is just beautiful. It's like gilded and there's a little metal clasp. It's gorgeous. And uh, I had written my, my prophecies. I mean... I don't know that I would have called them prophecies originally, but uh, predictions, I guess. Um, you know, uh, psychic. If you're psychic and you, or you do an oracle card reading or something, uh, you're getting guidance from spirit to tell you what's going to happen in the future. So predictions and stuff. And all the predictions I've got have didn't make sense at the time because they were very dire. They were talking about the United States was going to be on fire. This was going to be the year of fire. Uh, there'd be destruction. We'd be looking for the end and the end wouldn't be here. And then God was saying, just hold on a little bit longer. You won't see that end right away when you think you should see it. But the end of the, the terror and the tribulation uh, will come soon enough if you just hold on. And it's going to be glorious. And that's it in a nutshell. But I can't find my journal anywhere, which is very strange. Anyway, pray that I find my journal. <laughs> I know it's kind of selfish, but you know, any help. And pray for our president and pray for our country. Thank you. We love you. And so it is. Blessed be.